Hi, I'm Savita. Welcome to Savi's Fashion Studio. In our previous class, you learned about universal jersey and stretch needles and how to select the right needles. Apart from those needles, there are many other needles like denim, leather, embroidery, quilting, and as the name specifies, they are used for specific projects or fabrics. And there are also microtex needles, which are very fine and used for very fine silk or microfiber fabrics. Apart from all these, there are some interesting special needles like embroidery spring needle. wing needle double eye needle twin needle so let's see how to use this one by one in this class we'll be using the embroidery spring needle which is meant for free motion stitching or embroidery with the hoop on your sewing machine so let's start in this class i'm showing a special needle that is spring needle it comes in such box this needle has a spring around it this is meant for free motion embroidery in a frame on your home sewing machine in this class i have also used water soluble stabilizer this stabilizer dissolves in the water however i'll explain more about water soluble stabilizer and heat soluble stabilizer in the next class so let's see how to use this spring needle as you see the needle has a spring around it and this spring assumes the function of the presser foot also so when you use this embroidery spring needle you don't need to use a presser foot in one of our previous classes we had shown doing free motion embroidery using this free motion embroidery foot if you do not have this you can just use this embroidery spring needle to do free motion embroidery using a frame now let me show how it works i'll not be doing embroidery but i'll be doing free motion stitching and doing a different project i'm making a cushion cover i've cut 10 by 10 and kept it on the hoop and within the hoop i put small pieces of scrap fabric here if you see i put sequin fabric some silk and tissue fabrics you can use any small pieces of fabric or you can also use some threads now usually when doing embroidery we use a stabilizer under the fabric but here i am using a stabilizer on the right side of the fabric i am using this water soluble stabilizer this provides support to the fabric when you sew and here it also keeps these pieces in place so i'll keep it on top and then place the other part of the hoop and tighten and here we'll be doing free motion stitching using this embroidery spring needle now very briefly i'll show how this embroidery spring needle works first of all i've removed the presser foot as we don't need one and i've also removed the needle now we'll insert the embroidery spring needle the rounded side of the shank should be facing you and the flat side away from you insert the needle completely and then tighten the screw i'm using this gutterman metallic embroidery thread and for the bobbin i'm using a regular thread whenever you're doing free motion embroidery with a hoop you need to lower the feed dog because you don't want the feed dog to push the fabric forward as you will be controlling the fabric in this machine there is a button here to lower the feed dog this has been shown in a previous video on this machine juki hzl 70hw if you don't have that option you can use the feed dog cover plate or you may be able to do it manually or you can set the stitch length at 0 now i'm using a straight stitch you can also use a zigzag stitch i'll be randomly stitching all around i'll do it slowly so that you can see how the needle functions you can operate the sewing machine in medium speed but move the hoop very slowly because as it is sewing if you move the hoop faster there are chances you may break the needle so do it very slowly i'll just cut off this extra thread and then continue sewing I'm sewing fast but I'm moving the hook very slow. If you're doing a similar project, make sure all the fabric pieces are sewn nicely to the base fabric. Thank you. 
you can use some specific design or you can randomly sew as I'm doing now. You may be able to do this with your regular sewing needle but what the spring does is as the needle goes in the spring holds the fabric firmly in place so that it does not come up when the needle comes up so it makes it a little more easier to sew with the embroidery spring needle. Once done, do an auto lock and stop. So this is done. Now remove the hoop. Now we just need to wash this in water to remove the stabilizer. As this is water soluble, once we put it in water, this will dissolve. I am washing this in this bowl of water to remove the stabilizer. It easily dissolves. It's gone. Now just dry the fabric and then you can use it for cushion cover. Let me dry this and meanwhile let me just show you the cover that I have already done. So this is a bigger cushion cover done with the same method. I have kept the hoop and sewn multiple times to cover the whole fabric. Thanks for watching this class. Please like, share and subscribe. You can buy all these needles on our website servicefashionstudio.com. See you soon in the next class. Until then, happy sewing.